In this video we're going to lay out some points starting with our prism pole. So we're going to choose the measure button and choose layout. Now if you take a look at the screen the little orange crosshair shows where you are in the project and I've just selected a point there. Now what we want to do is look at the direction. So 4 and 11 and right 5 and a half inches. What we'll do now is start to walk towards the instrument. That's how we always lay out points. Our direction is giving us direction towards the instrument. So I'm making that movement, trying to get within the point. Now within three feet, we get a screen change. That's our bullseye. We're gonna to continue to make those adjustments until we reach the point within tolerance. And then from there, all we need to do is hit the shoot button. Now this is gonna give us our results and once we've done that, we can now mark that position on the deck. All right, once that's been recorded, we can use our automated routine uh, that will choose the next point by hitting the arrow that's going to take us to our preset closest point to our location. You can see we're within three feet. So we're going to begin to start moving again towards the instrument to try to lay out this point within our specified tolerance. So we'll make a few adjustments. Once we've reached our tolerance and our position and we're level on the pole, we'll go ahead and hit star again. Now, Again, we get our results and we're going to come in and go ahead and mark this position as well. And we're going to continue on just by laying out the next point that would be the closest to our position. So we hit the arrow over. Again, it gives us direction. So we're, we're currently laying out some points that are pretty close together. We're working on some light fixtures that are relatively close together and moving towards the robot again, making our adjustments, making sure the pole is level and plumb. Go ahead and make that shot again. Go ahead and mark this point as well. And we're going to finish out our final point again by moving towards the instrument. making those final adjustments. Now, uh, when we reach our point within tolerance, we then again will stake that position. Again, we'll get the results and we'll go ahead and finish out this last point. Now it's time to switch from prism to laser. I just hit that icon there in the top left. That's how we switch from prism to laser. Go back to measure and let's go to layout. Okay, if you take a look at your screen now, you can see the four that we just previously laid out were the prism. Now all we need to do is just select that new point and you can see that the laser is just adjusting to the surface. It's automatically calculating the difference as based on the elevation of the point and it found our spot. Now all we need to do is store that location. We have our results and all we're going to do is mark the point on the surface. So once we've got that complete, it's simple to move to the next point. We can go right into our plan, select the next point, and you can see that it's moving automatically to that next location. Now it's taking a look at the surface and comparing it to the Z elevation on the actual point that was created. Once it finishes, it gives us any difference or deviation. We can see that it was below by a foot based on design, but it did find the right location. Once we've found that piece, you're going to mark that location as well, physically on the plan as well as the floor. Now we'll go ahead and pick our third position. You see the robot just continues to look for that position based on the actual surface and compared back to the point elevation. Again, aiming, making an adjustments, finding that location. And again, we're just storing that location. So we're getting the recording. So that way we can use our reports later as well. And I'm just going to finish out this last point. 
go ahead and pick it from the screen. We'll see it move to the last position. Now this is going to complete this um, light fixture with the four corners. You can see we've found that quite easily again. We'll go ahead and store that position and then we'll make this final mark here on the deck and move on to our next point.